Hi, my name is Bhavesh. You are watching News 18 Tech, and today I have uh, this uh, beautiful smartphone with me, known as the IQ Neo 7 Pro 5G. I've been using the device for quite some time, and uh, today I'll uh, be sharing its uh, review with you. And uh, before that, uh, let's see the unboxing. Starting with the price, the IQ Neo 7 uh, Pro 5G is available at a starting price of rupees thirty four thousand nine hundred and ninety nine, and uh, is placed just above its younger sibling, the IQ Neo 7 5G. The phone is available in uh, two storage variants, uh, one of which is an eight GB RAM plus one twenty eight GB storage variant, and the other one is a twelve GB RAM and two fifty six GB of storage variant. Uh, let's talk about the design first. The fearless flame color that we have got has a vegan leather back in a saturated shade of orange and uh, does not attract uh, fingerprints. The phone weighs uh, 194.5 grams and uh, due to the leather back uh, doesn't slip and has a good in-hand feel. The phone has a power button and a volume rocker on the right. The bottom part is uh, crammed with the dual SIM slot, primary microphone, USB Type C port and a speaker grill. The secondary microphone and IR blaster are present on the top. The back of the phone has a camera part with the triple rear cameras. Talking about the display, the IQ Neo 7 Pro 5G sports a 6.7-inch inch Full HD Plus display with a 120 Hz refresh rate. The display is bright thanks to up to 1300 nits brightness, and the sunlight legibility is good as well. Visual enhancement optimizes the color and contrast in apps like YouTube, Prime Video, and Netflix for more vivid display effects. The phone has a triple camera setup with the 50 MP primary camera, 8 MP ultra wide camera, and a 2 MP macro camera. It has a 16 MP front camera as well. The camera comes with the features like AR stickers, Pro Sports mode, double exposure, dual view, 50 MP mode, and more. Coming to the camera quality, the daylight shots are good. The camera can focus quickly and gives some really good pictures. Low light images are good. The night mode is useful thanks to the optimization. The 16MP front camera is good in daylight, and the front camera portrait is decent as well. It can record the videos at 4K resolution and up to 60 frames per second for the rear camera, and the front camera supports 1080p, 30 frames per second recording. Coming to the software, the phone runs on Android 13 with the Fun Touch OS 13 on top. It has Android security patch for June 2023. The phone comes with an in-display fingerprint sensor. Coming to the processor, the phone comes with the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 SoC, which can handle almost every task thrown at it. I did not face any issue or frame drops in the graphic-intensive games. The phone also comes with the dual chip technology, which provides an additional chip for gaming and the secondary chip for Other tasks that you can perform on the phone. Coming to the battery, the phone packs a massive 5,000 mAh battery. It can easily last for a day with the heavy use and two days with the typical use with 5G enabled. It supports 120 watt fast charging and can be charged up to 50% in about 10 minutes and up to 100% in 25 minutes. Coming to the verdict, at a starting price of rupees thirty-four thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine, the IQ Neo 7 Pro is more than just a gaming phone. It is an all-rounder that is also good for multimedia. The camera is good as well for both photos and videos. And I will say that the phone is a value for money device. And if you are planning a phone in this price segment, then you should definitely go for the IQ Neo 7 Pro 5G. That was all about the IQ Neo 7 Pro 5G. If you like the device and the video, do let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.